Hey, hello! Welcome to Speak English with Dave. In today's lesson, you are going to learn to have negative adjectives to describe personality in English. If you want to keep improving your English, if you want to keep learning with me, do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss the notifications whenever I upload a new video. And if you want to keep in touch with me, join me on Instagram. And that's okay. Keep learning with me to keep on improving your English. Thank you so much. Keep watching this video entirely. Let's get started. The first negative adjective we're gonna learn today is aloof. Aloof. Aloof means not friendly or interested in other people. If someone is aloof, it means this person is not friendly or this person is not interested in other people. For example, if you say, my dog is very aloof. She doesn't come to people easily. It means my dog is not friendly or my dog is not interested in other people. Number two, it is belligerent. Belligerent means aggressive or unfriendly. If someone is belligerent, it means this person is aggressive or unfriendly. For example, if you say, her belligerent attitude makes me beat a retreat, it means her aggressive attitude makes me beat a retreat. Beat a retreat, I've made a video about beat a retreat. If you want to watch this video, you can click somewhere in this video to, you'll find a link to watch this video. And number three, you say big headed, big headed. It means arrogant or too proud. If someone is big headed, it means this person is arrogant or too proud. For example, you say, she's beautiful but also big headed and that makes me afraid of talking to her. That makes me afraid of talking to her. It means she's too arrogant, she's too proud and that makes me afraid of approaching her to talk to her. And number four, number four, you say callous. Callous means not caring about others' feelings, pain or problems. Callous. Callous means not caring about others' feelings, pain, or problems. For example, we say, the president is very callous and disregarded the problems of the people. The president is very callous and disregarded the problems of the people. It means the president is not care, is not really care, the president is, is, is not really care about the about the, the problems of the of the of the of the people and the president shows yeah the president is not really care and number five you say cantankerous 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 means often angry always complaining if someone is cantankerous it means this person is angry is often angry or always complaining for example you say I'm sick of her I'm sick of her. She she is so cantankerous and never happy. I'm sick of her. I'm sick of her. She's oh she's she's so cantankerous and never happy. It means she's often angry. She always complaining. Stop being so cantankerous, okay? And number six is say clammy, clammy. If um clammy means needing another person too much. Needing another person too much. If you are clingy, it means you need another person too much. For example, we say, um, stop being so clingy to me, please. I need some time alone. Stop needing me uh, too much, okay? I need some time alone. And number seven, it is cynical. Cynical. It means not believing that something good will happen. Not believing that something good will happen. If someone is cynical, it means this person is not believe that something good will happen. For example, we say, don't be so cynical, brother. Try to relax and have faith. Do not uh, stop believing that something good will not happen. Just believe that something good will happen. Relax and have faith something good will happen. Cynical means not believing something good will happen. As I told you, it is a negative adjective to describe personality. And number eight, you say detach, detach. If someone is detached, it means this person is showing a lack of feeling, a lack of feeling. For example, we say, my father is very detached regarding to my problems. My father is very detached regarding to my problems. My father is showing a lack of feeling regarding to my problems. And number nine, it is dogmatic, dogmatic. Dogmatic means being certain that 
your beliefs are right. If you are dogmatic, it means you are certain that your beliefs are right and that others should accept them without paying attention to evidence or other opinions. If someone is dogmatic, it means this person is certain that his beliefs are right and that others should accept them without paying attention to evidence or other opinions. For example, you say, my brother is the most dogmatic person that I've ever seen in my life. My brother is the most dogmatic person that I've ever seen in my life. My brother is always certain that his beliefs are right and that others should accept them. And number, number 10, it, it is fuzzy, fuzzy. If someone is fuzzy, it means this person is too concerned about having things exactly as he wants them. And this person is hard to please. If someone is fuzzy, it means this person is too concerned about having things exactly as he wants them. And this person is hard to please. For example, if you say, my son is so fuzzy, I don't know how to please him. My son is too concerned about having things exactly as he wants them. And my son is hard to please. And number 11, before the last one, it is gullible. Gullible. Gullible means too willing to believe or accept what other people tell you and easily treat. If someone is gullible, it means this person is too willing to believe or accept what other people tell, tell him or this person is easily tricked. Let's look at this example. My mom wasn't so gullible enough to fall for the prank. My mom wasn't so gullible enough to fall for the prank. It means my mom wasn't too willing to believe or accept what, what, what I told her, what other people told her, but she, isn't, she wasn't so, so gullible enough. And the last one, number, number 12, it is impulsive. Impulsive means acting without um, thinking carefully about what might happen because of what you are doing. If someone is impulsive, it means this person is acting without thinking carefully about what might happen because of what he's doing. For example, if you say, she's too impulsive, she sold her apartment for just a little money and now she doesn't have anywhere to sleep. She's acting without thinking carefully about what might happen because of what she 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 she's doing that is great and i think this lesson was very useful to help you improving your english if you want to keep learning with me to keep improving your english do not forget to subscribe to my channel and do not forget to share this video with your friends thank you so much for watching this video entirely and see you next time for another video to keep on um, uh, to keep on uh, teaching you good english to keep on helping you and uh, improving your english see you